Hello my juicy peaches and welcome back to my channel. My name is Priestess Peaches aka Jackie Lane from yourpeachylife.com. I mostly support ambitious women in long-term relationships with love, pleasure, well-being and business and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you all about the benefits of yoni breathing. So I'm going to be speaking about what yoni breathing is. I'm going to go into the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual or energetic and sexual benefits. I'm then going to tell you when not to yoni breathe and then I'm going to share with you how to yoni breathe. So what is yoni breathing? Yoni breathing is a Eastern tradition, a Taoist and Tantric practice that synchronizes and connects your breath with contracting, holding and releasing the muscles within your yoni, your pelvic floor muscles, but also other muscles within your yoni as well. For those of you who don't know, yoni translated is the source, the origin, it's the womb space, it is your vagina, your vulva, your reproductive organs, it is your root chakra and your sacral chakra, your lower dantian. And when you synchronize your breath with contracting and holding and releasing the muscles within your yoni, you are activating your powerful life force energy and there's lots of benefits to doing this for women. So let's get into those benefits now. So on a physical level, you are actually stimulating blood flow to your yoni, to your reproductive organs. And that blood flow can be very cleansing, it can cleanse out toxins, it can create uh, strength and tone within that area of your body. Because you're using breath work, you're oxygenating that area of your body as well by using your breath. You're also conditioning and toning the muscles and the tissues. You're not just creating uh, tightness because that can lead to tension. What you're creating is strength and tone as well as dexterity and suppleness, which is key because you don't want tension in your yoni because that can lead to blocks to bliss, that can lead to pain, that can lead to numbness, that can lead to reproductive issues. So you're not creating tension because it's not just like a Kegel practice where it's just tight, 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 tense, tense, tense. You're going to be relaxing the muscles as well and you're going to be utilizing different muscles within your vaginal canal so that you're creating dexterity as well. So it's great for your pelvic health. It's great for reproductive health, urinary health, gut health, because it's that area of the body that you are going to be working with the muscles and your breath work. In my experience, it can help with hormone balancing, it can help with symptoms, uh, PMS symptoms, it can lessen period pain. I have also heard that it can help with menopause symptoms and can even shorten the, uh, the time frame of your menopause. It can definitely help you to sensitize and resensitize to sensation within your yoni. So if you've been experiencing pain or numbness or any kind of sexual shutdown, physical shutdown within your yoni, you can actually resensitize your yoni just with contracting, holding and releasing the muscles and just with your focus and intention and your breath. It can also help women with childbirth. It's not something that a woman should do when she's pregnant, but it's definitely something that can help prepare a woman's body for birthing a child. And it can also release tension and trauma from within the tissues of your yoni as well. So those are the things that it can do on a physical level. So let's get into mental and emotional. When you're yoni breathing, you're actually creating new neural pathways and you are creating new nerve pathways and connections and meridian pathways and pleasure pathways within your yoni because you are going to become super sensitized just through yoni breathing alone. And this is really, really good for your vaginal health, your pelvic health, and your orgasmic health as well. Yoni breathing is a very mindful, meditative breathwork practice, and this can be really good for relieving stress, and it's really great for relaxation purposes and revitalization and rejuvenation. Creating this connection with your body and being in tune with your body and your sexual self in this way can be incredibly empowering for a woman. You not only become self-sourced within your pleasure and orgasm, but you also feel really trusting of yourself and you feel deeply connected to your own body and your body's needs. And that is 
very empowering for women. And that really helps with a woman's confidence and the way that she feels about her body and the, the way that she feels about her yoni and her sexual self and her erotic essence. On an emotional level, it can really help you release any negative emotions, any guilt, sexual guilt, sexual shame, any, like I said, trauma that has been, um, that has got stuck within the tissues of your yoni and any tension. It can help you to have emotional releases, which are really important if you want to move to the other side of those blocks to bliss so you can actually experience your full pleasure potential. It's a very uplifting, joyous, blissful and peaceful practice. And those kind of emotions can really help you day to day with managing life and just add that little sprinkle of joy into your day. So on a spiritual or energetic level, you are connecting with your life force energy. This is your vitality and your vibrancy that you are actually activating and growing within you. You can enhance this energy, you can work with this energy. And once you start yoni breathing, you will actually start to experience your sexual creative life force energy. You'll be able to sense it and feel it and experience it within your body. And you can utilize that energy throughout your day, throughout your life with any creations, any endeavors that you are embarking on. Like I said, you can release trauma from this part of your body, but it really does go deeper than that because this part of your body is very much linked to your ancestors. It's linked to your lineage your genetics, your blood. And so you can really heal ancestral wounding through yoni breathing alone. You can really step out of survival mode and come into thriving with yoni breathing. It's an opportunity to release the things that are holding you back and actually step into the things that are truly serving you. When you yoni breathe, you are giving and receiving with your breath and your intentions and your movements of the muscles and your focus um, and imagination. And this is really important to learn how to give and receive with yourself because a feminine quality is receptivity and this can really help you to learn to receive from yourself. And this is vital. This will have a knock-on effect to other areas of your life. So the movement of energy, the movement of breath, the movement of blood flow that you're creating and generating when you're yoni breathing is very cleansing and it creates a harmonization of the circulation of energy. And it can clear your chakra system on an energetic level and it can really open you up to deeper states of bliss and higher states of consciousness. You become more in tune with your intuition, your gut feelings, your sacral responses. You become more in tune with your body's guidance system. And this is so important for women because so often we suppress our true feelings to please others. And so this is a real opportunity to come back home to your truth within your body. The yoni is truly a powerful guidance system and when you learn how to receive her messages, it will really enhance your life and your decision-making processes. So moving into the sexual benefits, I've already mentioned suppleness, dexterity and tone and these are actually your three keys to pleasure and orgasmic bliss. You need to have suppleness as well as tone to not go into that tension space. You want to be able to learn how to stay in what's called relaxed arousal, not over excitement, in order for you to actually experience the deeper vaginal orgasms, the deeper orgasmic states of consciousness that are available to you. So yoni breathing truly does lead to better and deeper orgasms and orgasmic states. It resensitizes your sensuality and it helps you to connect with your sexual self and your erotic essence. And this is all conducive to a vibrant sexual center, vibrant pelvic health and a vibrant life force energy. And you become self-sourced in your pleasure because once you learn how to be dexterous, once you learn how to contract and, and release and relax as necessary, you become much more empowered in your own pleasure and in your own 
vaginal health and pelvic health. And you're also toning all the organs inside, um, your sexual organs, and this is just incredible to prevent prolapse, it's incredible for reproductive health, like I said, but it's really good for your sexual health because this is going to help you have better orgasms, deeper states of pleasure, other kinds of pleasure pathways will open up to you just through yoni breathing. So there's some times not, when not to yoni breathe, one of those times is when you are pregnant, so pregnant women must not yoni breathe, um, and also when you are bleeding, when you're menstruating, when it is your time of the month, when you have your period, um, it's not recommended to yoni breathe because all the energy is going down and out, your blood flow is going down and out. So you don't wanna be doing any contracting, holding, pulling up type of exercises at that time of the month. You'll wanna be releasing and letting everything go down and out at that time of the month. And so it's best not to yoni breathe when you are actually bleeding. But of course you can yoni breathe leading up to your uh, monthly cycle for sure, your monthly bleed. If you're experiencing any acute pain or you've just had surgery, it's not recommended to yoni breathe. You need to heal, you need to consult whoever it is you need to consult to deal with that. Um, if you're experiencing any kind of chronic pain, then yoni breathing may be able to help depending what the origin of the pain is. But it's definitely something that you would need to go and speak to a doctor about, go and speak to a professional about before you embark on yoni breathing. But if you're experiencing any acute pain and or you've just had surgery, do not yoni breathe. Really yoni breathing needs to be a gentle practice, something that is done from a space of desire and joy not obligation, not pressure. It's really something that can be deeply enhancing to your life and it's to be done with respect and reverence for your body. And you need to listen to your body and listen to your yoni and listen to yourself. And if you're not, if your body is telling you not to yoni breathe, do not yoni breathe. So now I will tell you a basic yoni breathing practice that you can implement. Um, it's really, really simple. All you do is you breathe in for the count of four, you inhale for the count of four, then you hold the breath for the count of four, and then you exhale for the count of four. And as you do this, as you inhale, you want to slowly contract the muscles within your yoni and eventually you'll be able to isolate the muscles and do this so that the muscles move quite independently of each other. But initially it will just feel like one kegel pelvic floor um, contraction and that's fine. It takes time to become dexterous. So you want to inhale and as slowly as you can and just with your imagination and intention, contract the muscles within your yoni. When you hold for the count of four, you want to squeeze the muscles. And then as you exhale for the count of four, you want to gently release the muscles and really relax and fully let go and let the muscles release. And so that is a basic yoni breathing breath. And as you do this, you want to be imagining and pulling in your sex organs, pulling up and in as you do this. So as you're contracting the muscles, imagine you are sucking in and pulling up your sex organs. So it's a lifting kind of feeling and it's a lifting intention. And so you simply breathe in for the count of four, contract, lift, breathe in and then hold and squeeze, 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 and then gently relax and let go. And this is just a very basic yoni breath. Um, you may find that your body wants to do the opposite. So instead of contracting as you breathe in, you your body might want to contract as you're exhaling. Just see what works for you and which way around you prefer to do it. There's no right or wrong, but I would recommend practicing both ways. Um, and yeah, this is just a very basic yoni breath and the the intention here is to, um, to tone, create dexterity, create suppleness, to create that relaxed arousal feeling 
and to connect with your body, to connect with your sensuality. And you'll find over time by practicing this, even just for a few minutes every day, or even just three times a week, just a few minutes, three times a week, can have a profound impact on your sexual energy, your vitality, your energy levels, and you will find that you will start to experience your orgasmic and sexual energy. I've worked with many, many women who have never yoni breathed before, and it doesn't take long before they actually start experiencing their natural yoni pulse, their sexual energy, their orgasmic energy, their vitality, their life force energy. It's so deeply nourishing on all the levels. So I hope that you practice yoni breathing because I think this should be information that is available to all women. If you're wanting some guided practices, I have a playlist on this YouTube channel, Yoni Breathing Playlist. You can also sign up to my website to receive seven free guided Yoni Breathing practices. They're audio practices. Um, they are short guided Yoni Breathing practices. They're between five minutes and 15 minutes long. Um, so that you can fit them into your day. There's one for every single day of the week. So once you get to the end, you can just start again. Um, there's different types of yoni breathing and breath work in there as well. So if you're interested to receive the free seven guided breathing yoni, guided yoni breathing practices, then you can click the link in the description box to sign up to my website and you can access them. From there, you will be invited to set up your own sacred password to my online course platform and then you can access them for free from there um, and then you'll also be able to see all of my other offerings as well my other online courses and if you're looking to work with me one-to-one -one, then there's a link in the description to apply to work with me one-to-one -one as well so i hope that you try yoni breathing and give it a really good go at least for a week see what happens and uh, let me know in the comments your experience of yoni breathing let me know if you have any questions at all so i'm going to go now thank you for watching this video thank you for getting to the end if you did give it a thumbs up and please feel free to subscribe and share this video with any women who you feel will benefit from yoni breathing and i will see you in my next video have an amazing day and remember to keep it juicy bye